How can we continue to further education for sustainable development throughout the world in the best possible way? That's a question that is drawing over 1,000 educators, policymakers, ministers, researchers, civil society representatives, and youth to meet at the UNESCO World Conference on ESD in Nagoya, Japan. In preparation for the conference, several stakeholder meetings are being held to share knowledge and experience and to discuss what recommendations should guide our ESD work in years to come. I'm here at the ESD Youth Conference in Nokayama, together with 50 other young people who are working with ESD projects around the world. We need your ideas. We need your leadership. We need your projects. We need your vision. We are here in order to develop strategic recommendations for how the UNESCO should proceed, and everybody else, not only the UNESCO, on ed implementing and scaling up education for sustainable development initiatives around the globe. We've been hearing a lot from UNESCO that uh, ESD should be transformative and holistic, but unfortunately that's not what we're seeing out there. Uh, it's not mainstream yet. And, but youth have got it. There are so many amazing youth doing amazing projects and amazing initiatives. And it's the opportunity of being all of these people together from 48 countries. It's, a, it's this opportunity of making it visible for other people and also learning from each other. So we're not reinventing the wheel in different places. So we have the vision here, then we have alignment with values. We have part of the... After sharing some of our experiences and visions, we break into groups to discuss our specific topics and start formulating recommendations to be handed over to the World Conference. After this, a drafting team will work on formulating the recommendations in four short pages. Karina and Isis are part of the drafting team. Uh, for me, it was important that recommendations weren't just uh, beautiful sentences, but were, uh, that actually could guide those that want to, want to work with us as young people on how to act and what kind of partnerships are necessary, what kind of steps are necessary. For me, it was very important that they were real, as concrete as, as possible, and not just filled with buzzwords and pretty words. We believe youth are actually best positioned to lead ESD. And so what I would ho hope to see is that shift from, from youth being kind of a stakeholder where we need to listen to this, we, we need to have this voice here, to actually really deeply listening and hearing what we're saying, which is let us lead, we're prepared to lead, we're happy to lead, um, we can lead, and then come with us and support us on that. As we're leaving Okayama and traveling to the World Conference, the question remains, will we be able to make an impact on the process in Nagoya? What opportunities will we have to share our perspectives in the workshops and plenaries? And remember, although we're walking a difficult path, it's essential to have fun along the way. The youth delegation has finally arrived at the UNESCO World Conference in Nagoya, together with 1,000 other participants. Even the prince is here. Here we go to opening ceremonies, big plenaries, and the workshops and sessions. Some things are interesting. Other things are um, not so engaging. Our biggest concern is how we can contribute to the continued support of youth-initiated ESD projects around the world. Part of that is communicating our youth recommendations. Again, the board, because you do need a holistic approach. We were given some spaces to speak up and try to make the most of them. 
However, there were no sessions dedicated to sharing the work of the youth delegation. At the World Conference right here, I feel like there wasn't a real, real, um, real platform for youth. If there isn't a space, you need to make the space. We started planning a side event and invited everyone to come. Bernardo, a high school delegate from Brazil, spoke at the morning's plenary and shared our invitation. Since war starts in the minds of adults, it's in the minds of children that we must build the defenses of peace. We, the youth <laughs> delegates, have prepared strategic recommendations to complement the gap around what is required from a youth perspective to drive the ESD agenda ahead and facilitate the rapid transition towards sustainability that we all know is so vital. We hope to see you there. Sincerely, the UNESCO World Youth Delegation. Thank you. with those of you that are already in high positions and can facilitate the advancement of those ideas. <laughs> I'd like to commit myself to help. Uh, my commitment is... Uh, I commit. So I commit um, to support um, youth initiatives uh, from around our countries and uh, outside within Africa. We'll make a sort of statement to UNESCO that the next conference, uh, the youth conference, will be sort of integrated with the whole conference. By the end of the session, we had specific commitments from many participants and some country delegations to support youth in their ESD work. Within one day, we were, we were able to gather up together, collect our ideas, and actually generate something very important. And we, I, we did have our own session. So it was also shows the, the effectiveness that youth can have within a very short span. Our last big challenge was finding a way to stay connected and move forward once we were back home. We organized into clusters based on our interests and shared our ideas. This is the moment that we're taking to honor the space and this time that has been given to us. And to share not only what we have learned and what, what we're grateful for, but see and celebrate the capacity that we have of creating action together. The results of those conversations are still emerging. What's certain is that we have established partnerships and friendships that will continue to flourish. The main two words for me is inspiring and empowering. I'm going back as a global citizen with love not only for my country but love for 52 countries. Love for this planet and love for one human race.